Have you ever wondered what the difference is between all those UK broadband suppliers? Have you ever ordered fibre broadband and then can't find fibre anywhere? Well, in less than three minutes, I'm going to show you what the difference is between all those broadband providers and why, and this is a real bugbear of mine, why broadband is not the same thing as Wi-Fi. First, let's look at BT. They were founded in 1846 and built their network on twisted copper pair. Of course, it was built for voice. So when broadband came along in the 1990s, so did standards to put internet signals over this, by now, rather old copper wire. The technology is called Digital Subscriber Line, or DSL. More recently, in 2006, OpenReach was launched. OpenReach allows other companies like TalkTalk, Talk, Sky, PlusNet and many others to use those wires to provide broadband to their customers. But they're always relying on and paying OpenReach for the use of their wires. So let's have a closer look at those wires. Although DSL is always evolving, it's basically doing the same thing, and that's squeezing many frequencies or spectrum in a thin wire. The main challenge here is that the longer the wire is, the more those frequencies fade, and so the broadband starts to slow down. This is why with copper broadband, you never really know what speed you'll get until it's tested for distance. Now let's look at Virgin Media. They don't use OpenReach's uh, copper wire. Instead, they use a much thicker cable called coaxial cable, which was built by their predecessors in the 1990s. And over that, there runs a protocol called DOCSIS. The thicker cable means it can carry more frequencies, which results in higher speeds. It isn't affected by distances either, as the network was built to overcome that from the very start. DOCSIS continues to evolve, just like DSL. But as the saying goes, you can't squeeze a quart into a pint pot. And so, for even faster speeds, something else is needed. And of course, that something else is fibre. And both companies already use fibre extensively in their networks, so much so they're allowed by Ofcom to call it fibre broadband. But this typically means there's fibre everywhere, except actually for the last bit that goes to your home. This is known as fibre to the curb, or FTTC. True fibre to the home, or FTTH, is being rolled out by both companies when speeds will easily hit gigabits per second and be future-proof for many years to come. Notice I haven't mentioned Wi-Fi. Well, that's because it's completely separate and turns what's flowing over those cables into something that can fly over the air. And that's what we'll be talking about next time.